Hey guys, Napalminator here again. I'm going to talk about pets in Orna for tiers 8, 9, and 10 in this video. It's a lot of good pets at the high end. Uh, to some lower players, they'll look expensive, but they are worth it. Uh, let's get started. Save up your orns for these guys. Uh, first off, Cockatrice. Uh, can't recommend him personally. It's not uh, not very exciting for seven hundred fifty thousand. Uh, Colossus also can't recommend him. He has a especially weak set of skills here. He puts protection two on, which is not very exciting because at this level you are probably throwing Golem's Fortitude or Protection two and Magic Shield two, anyways. Um, and then some little attacks. Great Gazer, little more interesting, but for 875, probably still not worth it. His Mind Blast throws throws some debuffs. It'll debuff all the kind of the main main statistics there. Uh, but you can get that with Omni Strike anyways, or some other skills. Uh, and he throws some. Halfway decent attacks, but they're all three star attacks. If you click through Blizzard, three star attack. Not bad, not super exciting. Uh, I don't own any of these pets. I don't have any desire to own any of these pets, so I'm not giving direct recommendations on them, but they're just not that exciting. I don't hear people recommend them or talk about them, so. All these guys are kind of a pass. Uh, save your orange for something else, in my opinion. But if we go down to the next line of pets on the guide, we've got some great stuff here. First off, we've got the Great Yeti, also eight stars. And he is awesome because he throws up defensive buffs for almost everything. You read down the list, you got Dark, Earth, Fire, Holy, Ice, Lightning, and Magic, and Defense Ups. Uh, in places, he is fantastic. When you really need a lot of defense, especially against various elements, he's great. Like right now in August, Merlin throws lots of attacks that are elemental. So having all those elemental defenses is real nice. Uh, in gauntlets, especially boss gauntlets, having defenses against all the various elemental attacks that any enemies may throw is real nice. Uh, saves you a lot of skill slots or may even give you defenses that you wouldn't otherwise have. Like top one here, Dark Wall. Only comes from Guardian, which is a tier 5 specialization and from cataphract which is a tier 9 specialization but then you have to be cataphract some people don't want to be cataphract and that's a skill slot just for that one shot skill uh, great yeti saves you a lot of slots gives you a lot of defense so if you are looking for lots of defense he is he is worth it he is Pretty expensive there at 1.375 million orns. But again, I think he's totally worth it. I own him and use him often. Next on this line is the Pale Dragon. One of the most desirable pets in the game. Uh, number one reason why he's desirable is he has Dispel spell here, which will remove Cursed. If I click on it, it doesn't explicitly say that but it cures cursed cursed is a really nasty status effect from some enemies uh, specifically the ray boss king arthas that sucks 10 percent of your health every turn uh, real nasty debuff aren't many ways to get rid of it other than panacea the uh panacea tonic which is pretty rare in a couple of spells, and this Dispel spell is one of them. So everybody likes him, if for nothing else than, than that. Um, that's arguably worth it. 
also throw some some good holy attacks there and he can heal you for 250 points uh, from time to time uh, 1.125 million orns not cheap but once you get into the tier 8 tier 9 level uh, certainly not unbearable I will add he is very very rare in shops you can watch a shop for, uh, bestiary excuse me you can watch a bestiary for a month and he will not show up uh, I hear of people building large numbers of bestiaries at their house just to try to get this guy to pop and it will still take them many days so if you see this guy and you think you might want him and you have the orns you should probably buy him even if it delays purchasing of other classes or pets next we're moving to tier 9 with the giant basilisk pretty new pet uh, he's only been out a few weeks at the time that I am recording this I have him I really like him he he attacks often you can see he has that 25% attack chance he attacks very often he attacks pretty hard he also has a 5% there of the quad cut or the tri cut which are even more powerful and he throws elementalist damage so even if you are up against an enemy that resists fire resists whatever it's unaffected for the uh, so almost nothing resists him uh, I really like him. I recommend him. He's only a million orns, and he's not super rare either. He's he's an, he's fairly easy to get. If you want a cheap attack pet, he is a great way to go, in my opinion. Next, we have the Great Cockatrice. This is another one I own personally. I can't recommend him very strongly. His percentages of action are fairly low. Um, he throws Cockatrice Breath here, which is chance of blight, poison, or petrification. But that's not very useful against raid bosses. And it's fire, so if anything that's resistant against fire, no good. He throws Miasma, may cause poison and blight. Again, not always the most useful thing. And then he has the buff Wyvern Speed, which improves Dex and Magic. But if you are a melee-focused character, upping your Magic is of little utility. At 1.5 million Orns, uh, I just can't really recommend this guy. Next on the list is the Gyve Dragon. He is another very desirable, very widely used top tier pet. Throws lots of attacks and lots of attack spells. Uh, that's all he does. He doesn't heal you. He doesn't do much else. He just he just causes lots of damage and he's very good at it. He's expensive, relatively at 1.75 million orns. But, well, if you go look through the uh, leaderboards, either the top 100 globally or regionally, you will see many people equipping him. If there is a downside to him, it's that he throws a lot of fire and dragon spells. So if you are up against an opponent that is resistant or immune to those, he is not the best something to keep in mind but still very desirable uh, the amount of damage he can inflict is is very significant he is also like the pale dragon very rare you can watch a bestiary for a month and not see him so he's another one where if you see him and you think you might want him you should probably uh probably grab him while you can because you might not see him again for a long time Next is the Mighty Griffin, and I gotta admit, I don't know much about him, I don't hear much about him, I don't know anybody that has used him. 
Uh, I'm in the dark about him. I can't say anything positive or negative about him. If anything, the fact that nobody is using him, um, if nobody's using him, that should maybe tell you that he's maybe not the most desirable. He's got a pretty short list of stuff there. Blight Strike 3 is an attack. Dragon Breath is another attack here. Chance to inflict Blight or Fire. And then Worm's Song is a, is a buff. Ups your critical rate and boosts magic and attack power temporarily. Not bad. Um, at 1.25 million, though, I feel like unless you're at the point where you have more Orns than you know how to spend, you should spin your Orns on something else. Next line. Undead Golem. He is basically a ward pet at tier 9. He is another one I can't recommend. I have known a few people that own him. Uh, seen some more people on Discord talking about him. And nobody has a strong recommendation of him. I've seen some reports that he might be either bugged or just doesn't throw particular particular things very often. Um, opinions on him are just not that positive, so probably uh, probably wouldn't spend $1.5 million on him. Moving on to Tier 10. Now, Tier 10, I am not a Tier 10 player. I am a lowly level 209, which would be Tier 9 player. So I have no direct opinions on any of these. I'm only sharing what I've kind of gathered over the past few weeks. At the time of recording, these pets have only been out for a few weeks. So uh, opinions on them are, are pretty thin. There just aren't that many people who can use them. Right now you have to be level 225 or above to even purchase one. So, but I'll tell you what I've uh, observed. Chimera, I'm already seeing a lot of people use him. I've seen a video of him in action. He is very, very powerful. He puts up Berserk and several very strong attacks there, you can see. Uh, that 3 million Orns, he's pricey, but from everything I'm see, I've seen, he's worth it. Next is Fafnir, also 3 million. Haven't seen anybody using him, haven't heard any opinions on him. He does have Dispel, which is kind of nice. Um, but for whatever reason, I haven't seen anybody using him. I don't know if people just don't like the dark attacks or what, but he is just not that popular, so... Let's move on. Next on the list of tier 10s is the Mighty Mimic. And this guy is a little bit of a uh, high risk, high reward, it looks like to me. He has all of the top tier six spells. These are tier 10 spells, very powerful. 5% chance of him throwing them, but these hit for a lot of damage. He also has a 100% chance of throwing Mimic's Mischief. And uh, if you aren't familiar with Mimic's Mischief, it gives you attack double up, magic double up, and then a random chance of various debuffs. Sometimes you might only get nothing or get poisoned, and sometimes you'll get cursed. So he's a little bit of a gamble there. have seen some people using him, haven't heard any direct opinions of him, but he looks interesting. Next is the Mighty Slime. He's only a million. He does nothing but attack. Um, seems kind of boring compared to everybody else. I think I heard one negative opinion of him. Um, I'm hesitant to give any opinion on these guys since, like I said, I am only lowly tier 9. But if there's a pass at tier 10, this guy's it. And lastly, we've got the 
Ortonite Golem. And I have seen this guy in action in a video. And he was described as, if you want ward all the time, use this guy. He will attack and use Guardian Strike, which is an attack that also grants ward. But perhaps more importantly, he uses Ward of Ortonite, which gives you seven turns of ward and increases your ward damage absorption to 85%, which is pretty significant. So if you put this guy on, he is just constantly attacking and throwing up extra ward turns for you. Uh, seen lots of people use him on the leaderboards. Uh, he looks very powerful. And only, quote-unquote, only 2 million orns. Probably 2 million orns well spent. So that's it for my tier 8, 9, 10 video. Uh, good luck. Happy grinding.